I will fix this Samsung mini split air conditioner circuit board because two lights are blinking continuously on the indoor unit display. The green light is the operation light. And the red light blinking is the turbo indicating light. Both these lights are blinking together. If this situation happens, then this means that the indoor unit is trying to tell that the outdoor unit is problematic. These two lights will blink with the same pattern, whatever the problem the unit is facing. The outdoor unit motherboard will tell what the problem is with this Samsung air conditioner. In case this outdoor motherboard has no power and is dead. The situation with this unit is different. I am giving you an example, if the outdoor motherboard lights are not blinking, then it means the outdoor motherboard is dead, which means the indoor is indicating a communication error. The problem with this motherboard is that the yellow and green LED lights are blinking together, and the red light is stable. This blink means that the problem is in the current sensor of this motherboard. Now, I have removed this circuit board from the outdoor unit, and I will check it without the indoor circuit board. I have attached the wire with the neutral and the line wire of the control board directly. I didn't attach any wire with communication wire, as it was not needed. See, this is the wire. Whose plug I have installed in the electric socket? Now, I will pass electricity through this circuit board to check whether it shows the same error or not. I have turned on the electric button. The error is the same, and there is no difference in the error without the indoor unit circuit board. I have removed the motherboard from its box. Before testing this motherboard circuit, let me tell you that this PCB was not originally installed in this unit. Rather, this motherboard was installed in this Samsung AC outdoor unit. The condition of this motherboard is the worst. The IPM in the circuit board has been badly blown up. The microcontroller of this motherboard is damaged. You can see the burn area on the microcontroller. And it was a no repair motherboard. The customer has given us this motherboard to install in it. He imported it from another city. But it is problematic. Let me explain what the current sensor error means, it means the current in the circuit board is flowing abnormally. The CT or current transformer is used to detect how much current is flown toward the compressor in the other parts of the circuit board. But a different design is used in the motherboard of this Samsung split air conditioner. The current sensor or current sensing in the circuit is installed near the IPM. This IC over here is used for sensing the current in this circuit board. You can see that this is the negative pins of the IPM. And with it, the W pin. The W print is cut off on the board. Being cut off, the continuity of W pin is completed through this IC. Then, this IC senses the current in this motherboard. It tells the microcontroller how many amperes are passing through the circuit. The number of this IC is ASC712T. The company has installed another sensing IC in this motherboard. Which is this one? The cut is present here on the U print of the IPM. You can see the print is divided in half. The sensing IC is attached between them. Both these IC are used for sensing the current. Through this, the microcontroller senses the current and complete all the circuit board functions. If any of these IC will not work, then it will show the current sensing error. Now, let's understand how this IC works internally. The arrow you are seeing is the pin number 1 of this IC. The next is 2, 3, and 4 number pins. Two pairs of positive and negative are made and connected with one another. A wire connects those pins internally. The pin number 5 is the ground. The pin number 6 is used as a filter. A capacitor is installed here. The value of the capacitor decides the value of the current limit of the IC. The next is the 7 number pin, which is the output pin. An 8 number pin is the VCC pin, and 5 to 8 volts should pass here. The microcontroller works at 5 volts, so a max of 5 volts should be passed through its VCC pin, as the microcontroller could go bad if more than 5 volts are passed through it. The reason for telling all this was that the 7 and 8 number pin has no contacts. The 7 number pin is the output that further moves towards the microcontroller. The 8 number pin is the VCC, as I told you. This IC is absolutely fine. It has no such issue. I am saying this because I have found a problem with the second IC, which would normally not be with it. See the pin number 7 and 8 are joined together. 
the output should have flown milliamps from the output pin. But as the pins are connected with one another, 5 volts are flowing through the other pin as output. Because this IC output ranges from 2 milliamperes to 30 milliamperes, which flows towards the microcontroller. Now I am curious about how these pins get joined with one another. After studying and observing it, I think that it is a manufacturing fault of the company. These pins got soldered while this motherboard was assembled. And this motherboard has been launched in the market with this fault. And I think this motherboard is sold in the C and D grade category. To prevent the company from loss. Fortunately, it arrived to me for repair and I traced out this fault. I will remove the solder from the connected pins. To do it I am adding more solder to it. I will suck the solder with desoldering pump. The pins are now separated. Now before attaching this motherboard to the indoor unit. I will check whether the error is still present in this circuit board or not by passing electricity through it. I have turned on the electric switch. And now the blinking error has been changed. This blinking error means that the outdoor is trying to tell us that the outdoor temperature thermistor is bad, but as you can see no thermistor is installed with this motherboard right now. And that is why it is displaying this error. Now I place the motherboard back in the outdoor unit and passed electricity through it. It has started to function normally. And suddenly the yellow light started to blink. It is blinking rapidly. This means that the unit is now showing some other error. Let me clarify that this is an error for the outdoor blower motor. This is the connector for the blower fan motor. The blower motor installed and it is 6 wired. Let me tell you why this fan has gone bad. As we know its original motherboard got damaged badly. It is obvious that the damaged circuit board had damaged the fan with it. As I am rotating the blades the motor is rotating smoothly. The motherboard is showing the blower motor error means it is bad. This circuit board is fine now. But as the blower motor is faulty, we can't make a solution for it until we get a new blower motor for it. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos, and subscribe. Thank you.